what's up guys, DJ Normality with a quick tutorial on how to do some Far Cry 6 models. I seen a video online but he didn't really explain anything so I was maybe gonna make something so people can understand what's going on here. Alright so basically we're looking for uh, vertices and if you look right here there's always this 0, 3, 2, 1 like it's a countdown to ignition this will always be the start so um, it's always in short sign and 500 and I think the padding is 10 for these yeah you'll notice that these ones line up to 10 uh, it's just they're just different I guess every other models got something funky with it but uh, then you go down to this bottom and right here where it starts the uh, the next group of data this is the UVs so just paste well actually you can find the count first so well you can just do 3600 and then if you go print on this scroll down you'll come to this group right here see how it's all broken so this is 2331 so 2331 and if we go back into this well actually that's a little bit too much too much still yeah way too much so that's not the count so maybe 15 uh, 12 1150 okay well here we go it's close enough there you go see and if we do one more, then we're getting into UV data. So, stop it right there. Counts 1165. Back into this. 1165 um, for that. And we will do the offset right there. And then this padding will always be something like this. So eight on these models. Uh, I'll show you another one hopefully here where it is a different one. Um, yeah, and see, that's good. Now, usually there's a set of faces right below this, but that is not the case here. Um, I'm finding that some of these models uh, are stored differently. This is actually a good case because right here is a, another model which has a different padding so this is a good one to kind of show you guys so we need to find these faces so if we scroll down scroll down we come to a set of faces here and I'm just gonna test these because I don't know if these are right it is the first set of faces so it should um, hopefully be the correct set and you always see this four three two one like a countdown again so put it right here and we will go here this is always in short and we'll load up 500 just to check it and it appears that we did find the right section so <clears throat> this is some sort of accessory I don't know uh, but right here you see this it says 090909 and then bam all of a sudden we're back to zero zero so this is actually like a break in the the face data I'm not too sure how to even go about um, parsing this but uh let's just go 17 20 uh back it up and bam now that is our oh well that's not good Maybe if we go one more. Oh, well, that's not good. So we somehow got an oh, somehow got an error here. Not too sure why. Maybe it might be f counts are off. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. 
definitely not off. So maybe it's just the face counts off here. Maybe that z that zero nine wasn't a break that we needed. Maybe it was uh one below it. Yeah, I've I've been warned about these ones. A bitch. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't see any real. Unless it's the zero nine messing it up. So we'll back it down to fourteen. Twenty. That's right before the zero nine. Still get an error. Huh. That is interesting. So maybe the zero B right here. So if they're twelve fifty. This might be the this might be the spot. This looks pretty decent. Bam. Okay, so pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta vary a um, the buffer sizes. There's no real there's no real distinction in between what buffers are what. It's just it's just continuous flow of data um, in these models. So we'll test this UVs. Oh, and we're not done. I'm not correct. Uh, oh, that's because they're in the wrong thing. That would help. And I do believe it was ten. Oh, it was 12. That's why. And there you go. And there's UVs. So, uh, pretty much that's how you solve that. Um, and that's one, that's one mesh. That is definitely different from all the rest. Uh, we'll save this. Desktop. All right, and now I'll move to this other section of data. But before we do that, what I want to do is I want to find out where this face buffer starts. So it's going to start right here at this 43 zero B because that's where the last one ended. So we paste in this info, come back up here and write here is the spot of our new data and this padding is actually 18 I think I got to back up two bytes here so this padding is actually 18 now and this padding I believe is 8 could be wrong uh, let me get down here to the so we'll get the count now. Right here, copy. And now this this one is 12. You'll notice that there's there's only there's these two. That's it. Um, the variations of padding and intervals. So let's get this count. 39, 45. 52 here we go so that's 5113 there is our new mesh here and yes as you can see it's some sort of belt with some straps let me load in the rest of these faces but you see how we had to like know exactly where that spot was based off of the other faces there's really no way to tell um, unless you do it manually that way that's probably the best way that I've found uh, 36 let's go this is pretty high 75. Okay. And this should be straps. Bam. 
and UVs are good. So that is the other uh, variation of mesh. Two meshes, uh, one mesh, two variations. So you can see how it can it can get confusing. Do not override the last one. Like an idiot, I have done that. So there we go. Now um, it's all done. So that was that mesh, because all the meshes below this are uh, LODs. So hopefully this helps, and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in Discord. See ya.